It's that time again for the ice cream man to go to school. Pause! That's right, Sunday school is just one day away. Make sure you're there so that you don't miss out on any sugary goodness. Today is Friday, September 9th, 2022. It's National Grandparents Day. It's also my mom's birthday, which has turned into a heartbreaking holiday since the passing of the Queen of England. As you go through today, remember life is fleeting. Call your grandma. Call your grandpa. Don't have any? Call the people you wish were your grandma and grandpa. Let them know that they're appreciated. I'm your host, Ross, here with... Chase. Today's episode is sponsored by the Highland Games, happening next weekend at Culpeper Park. Admission is cheap, and you get to see grown men throw knives, axes, and logs. It's like ESPN, people's dads. Find the group on Facebook if you're interested in competing in one of the events. Sign up fast before it's too late. There are going to be actual falconeers with hawks at the event. We heard that the demonstrations for those birds of prey will be at 10 and 10.30. You can go by and see, get a picture with the real life hawk. And if you sign up, make sure you tell us. We can prepare your promotional materials. See the walls for examples. Daleville's Patriot Day celebration is at Culpeper to Park tomorrow. We have several students participating in the commemorative events honoring first responders, especially those involved in the September 11, 2001 tragedy that affected New York City. The event includes a display of 2,977 flags representing lost heroes. There will be a patriotic flyover, honor guard, cannon volley, bagpipes performance of taps, and a display of public safety items. The event begins at 9. A special thanks to Virginia OTC and Girl Scouts for assisting in this event for our community. Admission is free to attend. The event is being sponsored by the Daleville Chamber of Commerce in the Southeast Alabama American Veterans Post 7. <laughs> Before returning to campus this week for Letterman jackets and class rings, packets are available in the front office for students who are um, unable to attend. You are able to make your purchases online. The class ring ceremony usually takes place before Thanksgiving. All underclassmen are encouraged to go ahead and purchase a letterman jacket for your freshman year. That way you can wear the jacket longer. Officer elections for National Honor Society are coming up. You have, already, you have to already be a member of the organization to run for office. They are meeting again sometime next week. If you are interested in offering your services, go by and see Mr. Wyndham and let him know your intention of running. Congrats to the new Beta Club officers, President Hunter Dean, Vice President Alex Peters, Secretary Lysandra Straw, Chaplain Austin Horn, and Reporter Juliana Zacharias. They will now be able to add their leader to the high school's wall presidents appearing at the end of the month. Beta Club tutoring is now beginning for students at the high school. Monday, Wednesday, tutoring is English and Science. Teachers available until 4.15 are Ms. Strickland, Mr. McCall, and Mr. Wyndham. Tuesday, Thursday is reserved for math. Ms. Howard and Ms. Mc Ms. McDaniel are both available until 4.15. Progress reports go home on the 15th, so make sure you get some extra help in before it's too late. Seniors are reminded that off-campus lunch is only for seniors in good standing. If you have a D or an F in a subject, your off-campus privileges will be taken away after the first report card and will be gone until you have an overall C or higher in the class. Electives count as well. The senior class, Daleville's <coughs> class of 2023, is now accepting applications for office. These officers will be planning your class reunion for the next 75 years, so pick someone who is more likely to be 1. Rich and not need to work, 2. Rich and not need to work, 3. Nostalgic. That way you know you will get it done. Campaigning is allowed, bribing is not. There will be a senior class meeting today, Friday during the third period, for all senior class officers to give their speeches. So get your ducks in a row, candidates. This actually happened about two hours ago, and we already will know who won by the time the rest of us are <coughs> Congratulations to the new Tri-M Music Honor Society officers, Alex Peters, President Haley Jones, Vice President Chase Horn, Secretary Christian McKeithen, Treasurer TJ Waller, Historian and Austin Horn, new member Chairman. Be on the lookout for announcements from the Tri-M. The band's annual Halloween party is back on this year. This Friday's game is at New Brockton. This is the third game of the season. At this point, you have spent $32 in ticket money to go to the football games. It's cheaper to actually play in football or be in the band. Students are reminded to turn in all absence excuses to the front office. Students having un excessive unexcused absences are already receiving letters, letters from the front office. Try to make sure you are not on the list. FBLA is accepting applications for membership. Interested students can go by to see Ms. Cancel in the vocational department. Future Farmers of America is accepting applications for officer positions. This year, Daleville has the largest FFA in the history of Daleville High. The Pride of the South is selling spaghetti dinner tickets for homecoming night. Those always will be in the high school lunchroom, cooking plates of their super young, yummy, cheaper than Olive Garden menu. Tickets are $10. Go see Isaiah or Cole to buy some. 
Other people will have tickets. They want to sell more than anyone else. There will be a good luck send-off for Haley Jones on Sunday, September 11th at 2 in the band room in preparation for the National Peanut Festival pageant in October. Articles are being accepted for the October edition of the Hawkeye View. If you are interested in having your work read, stop by and see Alex Peters so that you can join Quill and Scroll. <laughs> a digital worksheet is available to help you complete this task. All members are required to submit at least four autographs or present announcements four times throughout the year. A digital submission form is available from Alex. The theme for today is Friday Spirit Day is Victory over the Gamecocks. So hope you wore your favorite patriotic attire. The football team will play tonight in New Brockton at 7 p.m. Your SGA is getting <laughs> busy getting ready for homecoming. Homecoming weekend looks to be super busy. <laughs> the Dove County Relay for Life will take place September 24th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. On the same day, there's a Comic Con type event at the Dove Oklahoma Convention Center. Lots of opportunities to go out and see things. The Pride of the South Band will be traveling to Troy University for Band Day on the 24th as well. Troy will play Marshall. Delva alumnus Gabe Elrod will be blocking some people for the herd. Tickets are available through the Troy University ticketing system. On Saturday, the city of Daleville is hosting its Patriot Day celebration. The event will take place beginning at 10 a.m. The Color Guard and Chase will be assisting in the ceremony. Everyone is invited to attend. Lunch today is grab and go, ham and cheese sandwich, carrots, ranch dressing, sun chips, banana, and milk. That's all for today. Go, go more, more Hawks. Hawks. Hawks.